You are the chosen few, protectors of our world. This is your time. Out there, you will fight the unimaginable. Feel the power of your javelin, its precision. Rely on each other. Unleash your power. Never give up. Ready, Javelin One? Let's go! You are freelancers. Hello and welcome. That was the launch trailer for Anthem. And today. We are going over some of the new information in the AMA Bioware had yesterday. Some information we've heard before, and some things not. I'm the Babe Lover, let's get straight to it! Will there be a training room available to test out new abilities, combos, etc? As opposed to equipping, going out testing, come back, changing, etc. Also on PC, possible screenshot, keybind, also PC chat box. There is no training room, you use print screen, and we have discussed several times that we don't have text chat at launch. Can you lock items, weapons, so you don't accidentally delete them? You can't delete things you have equipped. There is no other locking system. Good idea though. Will there be running at least a way to walk faster in Fort Tarsus? Update on Fort Tarsus movement for launch. Sprint speed increased, movement, responsiveness and ca camera improvements 22nd of February. Regarding strongholds, I noticed during the beta if someone leaves with an objective echo, it stops progress for the rest of the team. Will this be addressed in the release? How will joining and leaving strongholds affect progress? Fixed echo issues, matchmaking will backfill in certain situations. Will there be a photo mode? And will we eventually be able to customize our weapons, skins, optics, etc? Not in the short term. Will there be a vote kick function or an option for the group leader to kick in case we matchmake for a stronghold or mission? There might be someone that goes AFK for a long period of time. We would rather improve AFK timers and things like that. Will there be different ultimates you can equip later on? We think this is a cool idea. Will Anthem ever have raids? 6 to 8 player missions. We believe in the need for inspirational content. Our cataclysms represent this. More information on that soonish. Are we going to be able to join squads in game without sending an invite via console? You can send the invite through the game. But you know what? I kind of disagree. Because you can send an invite through the game, but you have to join a game through the console. So I hope they do something about that. Outside of weapons and armor, are there any other achievables that MTX cannot buy and can only be earned through accomplishments while playing? Things like titles, for example. We have an idea for some things here. Will you think about 5 players or 6 in at least free play? Just a smart move. The more you can have and play with friends, more will play. This is interesting, but not in the short term. Will we be seeing a healing support javelin in the future? We don't want to have enforced roles like tank, DPS, healer, but rather offer the flexibility for builds to be offensive, defensive or supportive. If we uninstall the beta now, will we still receive the rewards for playing it at launch, like skins, etc? If you have already met all the requirements, yes, you will get the rewards. And yes, you can uninstall the demo. Will there be any form of loot boxes for the cosmetics? No. Will the guilds have a social space of their own? And if they do, will the hub be influenced by any faction? Sentinels, freelancers, etc. 
This is unlikely to come with the launch of guilds. It's an interesting idea though. What if I miss stuff on the roadmap? Will I miss it out forever? Or will the missions and events stay in some character's head that I can talk to at the fort? Some things will only be available at the time. They may come back around later. And other things will be permanently available. Will we eventually be able to change weapons during a mission or expeditions? Or will we only be able to change weapons before leaving for Tarsus? For example, if I get a better weapon during a mission, can I equip it right away? Setting up loadouts is all done in the forge before you go on a mission. We don't want your team to have to wait on you out in the field. Anthem is a high mobility game that moves fast. Will you be able to increase the level of gear you have? Like if I have a gun with a great roll, can I upgrade it? No, you need to get another one from a drop. You can also use a blueprint to craft a weapon or item to the power and perks you need. Will some bosses have unique drops? Not at launch, but we are looking into this. When will we get some final patch notes, seeing what kind of changes made it in from all the feedback? We will only do patch notes for changes after the 15th. We have communicated lots of the changes through various means, but I don't think we have a comprehensive list anywhere. What happens when you're about to finish a stronghold and you get booted seconds before the last hit kills the boss? You get all XP and loot up until you leave a mission. If you rejoin in time, you can continue. Some bugs in demo fixed in launch. Will there be elemental weapons, bullets? Not at launch. We want primers and detonators to be gear focused. We may add weapons that do elemental damage and don't cause combos however. So I guess I just talked myself into saying yes. Yes there will be. In time. Will you make sure that a melee doesn't appear in terms of which weapons are the strongest? Give a ton of really well balanced options for endgame. This is our goal. Balance changes will be forever. Can we change the color of vinyls or customize the person using our javelins? You can't change the color of vinyls, you need to set your suit up to match them. I can answer the second question. You get a prefix of faces to choose from as your pilot. So no, you can't customize the face of your pilot. Are they gonna be male and female inspired javelins? Javelins have no gender. Will there be weapons that are beyond legendary? Not at launch. With primers and detonators being so powerful, what incentive do players have for using abilities that do not fall into one of these categories? They do more damage than a detonator or a primer that doesn't combo. It's all a personal choice based on how you play, your team make up and the difficulty of the content. Will we see additional javelins in the future? Yes, we want to add more javelins in the future. Will PC have DS4 support for PlayStation controllers? The Xbox support does work great, but I'm very used to PS4. There is a driver, but we don't support it natively. Will there be less load screens for a more seamless immersion into the world gameplay? You should see faster loads at launch. Will there be changeable visor color, thruster color, storm shield arm color, interceptor daggers color or any more customization options like that coming? Not at launch, but we definitely want to look at some of these. And this was a big problem many had with the demo. Is the sound glitch fixed? Yes, I think. Will there be the potential for romance options to be brought back at a later date? There is no tech barrier, that said, no current plans. I anticipated this game, but now that I saw how much you downgraded it from E3 2017 and what terrible performance it has on PC and console, I just cancelled my pre-order. There are significant performance improvements between the demo and today. Will there be look inversion for console players? Yes. When using a specific javelin, do you get more loot for the javelin you use, or is it completely random? Loot is biased towards the javelin you are using. Can we get a mass salvage option where we can mark items and salvage them in bulk? Yes. Through the vault. Are there any plans for a companion app that would allow us to read lore and customize our javelins away from the game? 
no companion app at launch. What kind of cosmetics will we be able to look forward to? Armors, emotes, banners, vinyls, and hopefully more things as we bring the tech online. This next Twitter post got many people talking. Comment below and tell me what you think. Will you be able to carry over save files when upgrading to the next gen consoles? Always. This was the latest details on Anthem. Thank you for watching. You are awesome. Like this video and subscribe to be a part of the awesome gang. Remember to hit that bell button to get the latest updates on Anthem. Thank you. I love you all and be kind to one another. Until next time.